y'all. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Y'all, seriously. I don't want to fall for you, oh no. But you make it so hard. Watching you dance all night, baby. It's making me fall hard. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, thank you for stopping by. And if you are somebody who is a returning subscriber, thank you for coming back. So this is my first video since my uh, holiday break that I took. I took a month break. Uh, every now and then I would pop in and answer comments, but for the most part, I didn't really, you know, do anything on here for that month. So um, I am back and I'm refreshed and I am here with a, another uh synthetic wig review for you guys so i am here with a new wig from free trust equal so i had faux locks for about uh three weeks and in that time i was on instagram and i saw that shake and go also known as free trust equal they dropped their leveled up collection and one of the wigs that they released is called kamala after kamala harris i'm assuming and she is inspired by the very popular Free Trust Valentino, which was like a simple part, basic wig um, that I reviewed in 2018. And you know, everybody loved that wig. Tons of wig gurus reviewed that wig as well. And they finally, you know, brought it into 2021 and they have it in a HD lace wig version. So um, even though I'm recording this, this video is gonna be up before LaDonna, which is also in this collection. I have already recorded some footage from LaDonna and LaDonna is gonna be like the upgraded version of Valencia that I reviewed in 2018 as well. So I am kind of familiar with how this is gonna fit in everything. Yes, so this is a premiere, so it's been a while, but some things I'm gonna be doing a little bit different this year. I have been on YouTube for almost eight years. It'll be eight years in March. I am trying to do a actual set schedule of um, three videos a week. I might post more, but for sure it should be three videos. And if it's anything less, I'll just let you guys know on my community tab. So that's why you need to have your notifications on and everything. So my schedule is gonna be Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday. That's gonna be my schedule. So um, yeah, so this is what Kamala looks like. I'm gonna turn off my ring light so it doesn't have the glare on it. Kamala looks like on the sock car. It looks just like Valentino. And I did pick up two colors, but I'm just gonna show FF Cream because I've already uh, reviewed Valentino and the FF Golden Brown, but I haven't reviewed, you know, Valentino in the FF Cream color. And I've always wanted to get that color. So I got it uh, in Kamala. All right, so this is what they claim from this collection. So it says it's from their leveled up collect from their level up collection. It's HD lace. It's an HD lace front wig. Take your lace to the next level. They have a pre-plucked hairline with undetectable HD lace. I have the color FF cream, as I told you guys. And then on the inside, it says pre-plucked to perfection. No additional plucking required. Uh, durable HD lace that blends in perfectly and ready to wear. So this is what Kamala looks like in the FF cream color. To me, it looks very similar to the golden brown, but that's what it looks like. Um, the lace on this wig is lighter, but it's like a light brown. And with LaDonna, I had to use some of my even lace tint, so I'm probably gonna have to use that here. And what I noticed, this is kind of weird. For Kamala, the lace feels like softer lace, but when I reviewed LaDonna, that's coming up on Thursday, that one felt like hard lace, like hard lace from back in 2013, 2014, 2015 era. So I think that's weird. The lace does feel different. It does have wispy baby hairs at the front of the wig. So this is more of a silky texture. So it does have some shine at the root and I noticed this with LaDonna as well. So we do have some shine at the root. So you can either enlist the help of some baby powder or some dry shampoo. I have my dry shampoo on deck right beside me because I know I'm gonna have to spray it down. 
I think everybody loved Valentino for the most part because it was like an everyday length. Um, it was it was longer, but it wasn't like too long. So on the inside of the cap, we have two combs around the parting space here. Two combs around the parting space and you get about four inches of parting space in the middle. But when you have straight parts, you can always shift them if you would like. And then you have a comb in the back and adjustable straps. So I'm gonna try it on and see how this fits. I have my hair, I have my hair, you know, flat as I can have it. And I'm gonna be very careful because I did rip my lace on LaDonna. So So I have seen people started to upload their reviews on this. So far, I haven't watched any. I wanted to have a fresh opinion about it so I wasn't like influenced by anybody, but I'm definitely gonna watch. Ooh, okay, this color. I definitely wanna watch, um, you know, other people's reviews after this so I can hear what they, they um, how they felt about it. I saw Weeks to Wasteland's thumbnail and then I also saw um, her style in Nikki. She has a review on this as well, but I haven't watched anybody's. But y'all, just right now, this is gorgeous. Oh, this is so pretty. Oh my gosh, I definitely have to give LaDonna another try today. And you'll see that Thursday, but this is what Miss Kamala looks like, y'all. What a beautiful style. This is what the hairline looks like. So as far as how this fits, is this big head friendly? I feel like this is a small cap. Like it's not squeezing my head. So this is small to medium, definitely, definitely not big head friendly to me. Um, but boy, look how gorgeous this is y'all. And uh, this video is not sponsored. I paid for this with my own coin. I think I picked it up from wig types. It was probably like $30. Oh. <laughs> Oh my gosh. So let's get her together. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the lace. Um, the cap size is small, so it's probably gonna be easier for me if I just go ahead and cut the lace. And I'm gonna use my Even Tinted Lace Spray. And this is in the shade uh, Light Warm Brown. A lot of the materials I'm gonna be using to get my wig together on my Amazon storefront, so you can pick it up if you would like. All right, so even though this cap is on the smaller side, I still like to use my wig grips because they do cut down on the amount of Gatsby glue you have to use, so it prevents your wig from sliding back and stuff. So I have this linked in my Amazon store as well. It is very essential to have a wig grip. I'm gonna cut some zigzags in my lace because it was a little bit straight across and I don't when I uh, glue it down I want it to be you know undetectable and when you cut straight across it kind of makes it obvious all right so I'm gonna take my even tinted lace spray I'm gonna spray the hairline and the parting space I'm gonna pat some of that excess off. I don't have any transfer, so it should be good. So I'm gonna go ahead and see how we have to do it. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and put some dry shampoo on cause the root of it, it does have a shiny dark root to it. The length of the hair isn't that bad, but the dark root is for sure shiny but you don't want to use too much because it'll turn gray. That definitely helped with making that lace melt more. So if you don't have the even tinted lace spray or some kind of, you know, lace tint, I would highly recommend picking some up because it does help in the process. So this is for sure on the small side, y'all. Um, so you gotta consider that before you buy it. For the time being, I am going to pin this back. It's always best to apply your um, got to be glued or your wig in general without makeup, but I've already put it on, so I would just 
clean your forehead first. I'm going to switch and I'm probably going to use my got to be hot insta hold spray. Let's see what that does. I'm going to follow that up with a black bottle and just go over like the curled parts at the front of the lace. So this wig already comes with nice baby with nice baby hairs, but I've kind of, you know, combed them a lot into the wig. So I'm just gonna create some wispy ones here. With my baby hairs, I don't like doing the swoops all over the hairline. I just don't prefer that. And I'm just using my edge booster here. I don't want to do too much of it. Okay, so I want to further flatten the top. So the lace is a little bit light at the front. I'm just going to use just like the slightest bit of my contour shade and put it on my lace. But in my part, I'm going to use my actual face powder. And this is the Black Radiant Soft Focus Finishing Powder and Golden Almond Finish. This is looking really good. And I just sprayed some setting spray on there just to wipe away some of that powder that gets on, you know, around the parting space and makes it look messy. Okay, so we're going to take it down and brush her out and we'll be done. I have to reapply my um, contour though. Make sure this is flat up here. Oh, this is... Oh my God. Oh my goodness. Y'all seriously. Oh my gosh. This is why we fell in love with Valentino in 2018. This is so gorgeous y'all. This what a way to start off 2021 like free dress. This was so simple. All they had to do was just take something that worked already and just bring it into, you know, the modern era or 2021. And this is what we got. Let me go take some pictures. And then, cause this is off jump about to get high ratings from me because this is gorgeous, y'all. Oh my gosh. All right, guys. So I am back and I have applied Miss Kamala. I absolutely love this. Like, this is so gorgeous. Like, I am so excited about this because I'm gonna let you know. I had a, I don't know if I'm crazy about LaDonna. I'm gonna try her on again. For the review that's coming up on thursday so stay tuned for that but this is automatically it for me this is so freaking gorgeous y'all i'm always going to give you guys balanced reviews and i'm not going to hype something up if i don't really like it i mean the look alone look at this color and this length is perfect because it was valentino you know valentino was perfect already but my issue with Valentino, and this is probably why I'm going to be selling all of my Valentinos, they corrected the one issue I had with Valentino here. So with Valentino, it was a simple part. You didn't have any lace to cut. 
But with that, you had that super thick line of demarcation. And a remedy to that, you could always, you know, cut a V into your lace. And I show, I have a video from 2018 where I show how to cut a V into your lace. I think I did it with the wig called Mato Mato Buena. I think that was the name of it back then. It was a dupe for uh, Valentino. I have that video on the info card for you. First of all, the style and everything is the exact same. I feel like the texture is the exact same too. Um, I never tried this FF cream color before and that's why I wanted to show this one instead of the FF golden brown because that is what I showed with Valentino back in 2018. So um, this color is so stunning. Like, I don't wanna take this off. This is about to be like my everyday wig. I don't have it glued down on the side for what reason? Cause I don't need to. Yeah, so I feel like everything is pretty much the same, but you have way more versatility and it looks more natural around the hairline because instead of it just being that part in space, you have a pre-plucked hairline, which is actually pre-plucked in my opinion. If you're somebody who wants to go in and tweeze it up some more, you can, but for me, it's not necessary. I think it looks very good as is. So I don't think you have to do that. I personally, because I do want that more modern frontal kind of look, um, I would go with this one. For just probably a little bit more money, you're gonna get a more natural look. So hands down, I'm going with Kamala over Valentino and that's saying a lot um, because I have, I think I had two Valentino still in my collection, but I'm probably gonna sell those in my next week sale if I still have those. Um, she is stunning. Uh, she is going to tangle because I did get some tangles, but this is a nice everyday length. You guys know I'm six feet tall and this falls on me about 16 inches. So this is a perfect length for me. This is the kind of wig that you want to get in every color. Seriously, y'all know I don't get hype over just any wig. Um, but I am super impressed by this. And the way this color just wakes up my complexion is just, oh my goodness, y'all. Yes, free dress. And you guys know I said it gives you that frontal look, but it doesn't require that frontal effort because all I had to do is spray and you know a little bit of got to be glued at the front and just use the gel on top just so my lace was nice and flat. That's not a lot of work to me. This is the amount of work I want to do with my lace wigs here. So I am not gonna hesitate. I'm gonna give this a 10, solid 10. It's not a yakky texture, but who cares? It still looks gorgeous. It has a nice luster after you spray it down a bit because I don't think the length of the hair is shiny, but definitely the the dark root area is shiny. So just spray some, some uh, dry shampoo on it and go. <sighs> this put me in such a good mood because when I recorded my LaDonna video yesterday, I'm gonna see if I like it again today. I'm gonna give her another try today because this wig put me in a good mood right here. So, ah, oh, y'all, yes. If you are hesitating, don't get Kamala. I think she is gorgeous. But if you already have Valentino and you don't really care about like the natural parting or, or the pre-plucked hairline, just stick with what you already have. But if you're somebody like me, and you want that pre-plucked hairline and a more natural part that doesn't require the V to be cut into it, then go with this. Highly impressed. Free Trish, you did that. I'm here for this one. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking, but yes, she is a winner. We have a 10 on my first review of the year. And I don't think this is hype because baby, we look good. Okay, so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Shout out to my Premiere Squad, first premiere of the year. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you wanna be a part of Premiere Squad, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel, turn on your notifications. You should be notified every time I do premieres. My new schedule for 2021 is Sunday, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. Um, so, you can look for me there. Sometimes I might post more, sometimes I'll post less and I'll just inform you on my community tab. Follow me on all of my social media platforms. All of those links will be in the description box. You can shop my Amazon storefront for my wig essentials. All the information will be down below. Talk to me in the comments. Let me know how you are feeling about Kamala. 
and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.